So, Doug, as we scout fields, you know, you and I are out with these growers all year long. We get to this time of the year, and these guys are like, hey, how's my corn going to yield? I get that question all the time. And, you know, it's something fun to talk about, but can you explain to me how we do that? Yeah, so it's a really cool process, and a lot of things go into this. There's a lot of factors, a tremendous amount of things that we need to learn and understand here. So when you're looking at a, an ear of corn and how it develops, you know, your kernel rows around, that's an early game, an early establishment game. So that happens whether it's a fertility play, a micronutrient, um, you know, some of these biological products mm -hmm. we're using to try to enunciate that early season growth. So you basically take kernel rows around by kernel rows long by population and then divide it by 90 and that'll give you your average yield, expected yield. Yep. But the one thing we're finding now that's really cool is we have to take that 90,000 and play with that a little bit because of grain fill. Exactly, and that's where we're getting all these extra. Hey, Jordan. Hey, bud. What do you got this there? Only, this has 20 around. Okay, how many plants did you see? About 40,000. Oh. Dang, Jim. That's going to be a good one. So he's giving away some information here. Thanks, Jordan. Appreciate it. But Anyways, uh, back to it. So grain fill period here. Yeah, so grain fill period, you know, with the like he said, with the 20 around, even at the high population, we know we've done a good job early. Yep. You know, right now, we're playing the games of Mother Nature, her water, nitrogen, late season, mm -hmm. and disease pressure that we're trying to mitigate with these aerial fungicide applications. So as long as we can fill this thing out and then get that kernel depth, yeah. that's what's going to maximize our yield potential. Exactly. So what we're doing, we're going to be able to take 20 around, hopefully by several long, and then if we can divide by... 80, 85, even, you know, a couple years ago, or last year when you had the 59, 81, or 82 hybrid, you know, we were finding with that, with your management, that grain fill period, we was down in the 70,000 kernel bushel yeah. range. So that's huge. You know, when we can take it from an average of 90 down to 70 something to calculate that yield, and you can play with that at home, you know, take, like I said, kernel rows around, kernel rows long, Times population. Not the population you planted, but the population that's the, there. Yeah, the population that's there. Yep. You know, and we'll go back and double check Junior on the 40,000, which should be pretty close. That's what we were kind of coming yep. up with earlier on some of our stand establishment counts here. Yeah. So when you do that, and then you take that number and divide it by, if you planted, or if you're expecting 90, 80, 75, 85, play with that number and see what it works out to be. Exactly. You know, to kind of see where we're at. Hopefully we get an inch of rain and we can fill this crop out and good and we can take that down quite a bit from there. Exactly. Well, thanks Doug for explaining that. Absolutely. It.